All right, hey there, Rivet family. Happy Monday. We are doing a benchmark workout today. We're doing our annual 2000 meter row. We did this last year at the end of July. We're doing it again. We're gonna measure our score from last time to this time, see how our fitness has been doing over the last year, all right? So very simple, 2000 meter row for time. This is a great measure of both cardiovascular and muscular endurance. I think it's uh, very helpful to think of a 2K row as four 500 meter rows. So rather than trying to plan out mentally that whole 2000 meters, break it down into more manageable chunks. Okay, I'm gonna do this 500, then this 500. And if you're familiar with the split time on the rower, you may have a, a goal split time that you can kind of keep that uh, monitor at. And this way you kind of uh, come up with a plan as to how long it's gonna take you to do the 2000 meters. All right, more on this in class when you get here. Uh, let me give you some tips though on the rower. There is a lot of technique uh, to doing on the rower. A lot of it boils down to how you are holding yourself, the positions that you go through on the rower. And let me tell you, rowing 2,000 meters with bad form is way, way, way more difficult than rowing 2,000 meters with good form. So we want to have ourselves in the right position to row efficiently to make this 2,000 meters a lot less uh, challenging. So first off is how we sit on the seat. So when you get on the rower, I want you to try this out. I want you to put your feet flat, and I want you to bend over, and I want you to tie your shoes. Tie this shoe, tie this shoe, or at least pretend like you're tying your shoes. What this does is actually put your body weight more on the hamstrings and less actually on your pockets area, right? You do not want to sit with our, our pockets on the seat. You actually want to have more hamstrings. So bend forward, tie the shoes, and then leave your backside there. there. So more hamstrings than pockets. And then let's go ahead and get our feet strapped in. You can go ahead and strap in nice and tight today because we're not getting off and on the rower, right? We're just rolling. That's all we're doing. Make sure that strap is right about the base of your pinky toe, right? You don't want the foot too high, you don't want the feet too low, all right? So set up for the feet. Um, and then upper body stuff, so things to think about. Try to sit up nice and tall, right? It's very easy to round the back over here at the catch. It's easy to overextend here at the finish. So let's try to think, keep a nice, nice upright posture here. Um, going back to the feet for a moment, heels, down. When you're rowing, there is absolutely no reason or any time that your heels should ever lift off throughout the entire stroke. I cannot say emphasize that enough. Heels down, right? What we're looking for, if you have your heels down and you're driving those heels in as you push back, you're going to get a lot more force, a lot more energy, a lot more power, a lot more everything, and it's going to make it way easier to transfer power to that flywheel, right? What we often see is people start here, get to the finish, look good, and then they kind of come up, right, and they're, see how my heels are way up in the air. What happens is we end up pushing up through the toes. I'm already leaning back, which is, that's not right, so I'm not going to use my hips. I'm pushing off through the toes. I'm only using my quads. I'm leaning back. I'm not using my hips at all, and I'm doing this. This look familiar? It shouldn't. The seat's getting way too close to the feet. I'm just using my quads. What it should look like, erase what you just saw out of your head, what it should look like is heels flat, lean forward, right? Drive those heels in, right? Just like you're doing a heavy deadlift or something. You're pushing back hard, heels down, we lean back at the hips, and then finish with that arm pull and release. So really, heels down, you get so much more power, so much more energy, so much more spin on that flywheel with the heels down. And you'll notice there's a good amount of space between heels and seat. That's a good cue. I mean, if you're rowing, so the seat's coming way up here like this, again, look at this bad position. We don't want to be there, we want to be here. So we use legs, hips, and then arms. One thing with the arms is the stroke should actually finish not here, but there, right? So we get to the finish and release right away. Let those hands lead us back up to our next catch. Alright, something also to look for, I'll mention, see how my chain stays parallel to the floor? That's good, right? I'm not letting the hands drop, chain's not moving up and down. Parallel should go straight back, straight in, straight back, straight in. Alright, rowing 101. Trust me, if you're doing a 2,000 meter row, you want to use good technique. Alright, that's it guys, have fun. Come in, get it done, have a great weekend.